guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome to Stephanie's Journey. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. If you have not been here before, please hit that subscribe button below. I would love to have you as part of the Stephanie's Journey family, as well as clicking on the notification bell beside that so that you don't miss any of my videos in the near future. Today I have for you almond chocolate energy bites and they are keto friendly as well so if you're interested in seeing how i make those then stick around and stay tuned okay guys for my ingredients for these almond chocolate energy bites i have one and a half a cup of almond flour this is blanched um, almond flour i have three tablespoons of almond butter it's all natural almond butter with nothing in it i have two tablespoons of cacao powder two tablespoons of ground flax seeds i have one and a half tablespoons of swerve two tablespoons of mct oil and then i have one teaspoon of vanilla extract so these are all the ingredients that i'm going to use i'm going to mix them together and create a little ball so stay tuned and we'll get ready with the mixing of the ingredients okay first i'm going to pour my flour into this bowl and because it may have a little bit of lumps in it i can sift it or i'm going to use this uh, pastry cutter to actually get the lumps out because i don't feel like sifting today and i'm going to pour my cacao powder in here as well as my flax seed ground in here as well and do the same with it and just incorporate it all together and then I pour in my swerve. I try to do all my dry ingredients first. And that just helps it get all combined together and get the clumps out. Make sure you get on the sides too. I got my little spatula here. And I'm going to make a little hole. A swell or whatever you want to call it. But I'm just going to call it a hole. And I'm going to pour my MCT oil in. And if you don't have MCT oil, you can use coconut oil. Anything you want. But since I'm doing keto, I put MCT oil and stuff. And my vanilla extract. And then I'm going to pour in my almond butter. And if you don't have almond butter, um, you can use any type of nut butter of your choice. I just have almond butter and I like almond butter. I, well, I like all butters, but I'm going to pour this in here and we're going to gradually combine this. And it may make a mess, so take your time with it because it's not going to be a wet consistency. It's going to be more of a sticky consistency. So take your time mixing it together so that you don't get it everywhere like I usually do. And these little things taste like brownie bites to me. So I freaking love them. And I list the nutrients for each one of these balls. Um, it usually makes about eight of them when I make them. But it just depends on how big you roll them yourself. And make sure your hands are clean always before cooking. And if you don't see that they're sticking together good, you can always add a little bit more oil or a little bit of water to the uh, mixture. But just gradually add that. Don't um, just pour a bunch in. Like this is what you do. You grab it and see if they're going to stick together. And if they're sticking together like this, then that is enough water and oil in it. But if they're crumbling apart a little, then by all means add more oil. The peanut butter has oil in it, a lot of oil. And so I added the MCT oil and that is oil. But still, it just depends upon your flour. Because some of it is getting under my fingernails. I should put on gloves. I hate stuff getting under my fingernails. But it um, depends upon your flour because some of some of the almond flour is ground differently and like the Bob's Red Meal is a lot different than this and that's what I initially had the first time but anyway I'm making my balls 
and make sure when you first start you squeeze them together really good before you start rolling them into a ball just to release the oils in them and that way they'll roll together much better and I make them about this size as you can see in the palm of my hand I don't know how big that is but we can see I do ounces this little ball is 1.12 ounces so and what I do is I just make them and I just put them in my little plastic container and then I put them into the freezer and freeze them in that container. Okay guys, I'm on my last one. So I did make eight again this time and I made my usual mess as always. Which I can't help myself. And all of them are around, I'll say between 115 and 120 ounces. The first one was 112, but I've made it a little bit bigger. But just make sure, again, like I said, that you're squeezing it together to release the oils so that it'll stick together. And this one, let's see my last one. It's about 122. I'm just going to take the complete measurements and put them in my fitness pal and divide all the measurements by eight and get my serving size so we have these eight here and I'm going to put them put a top on them and just put them in the freezer and let them freeze for at least about an hour and then we'll come back We'll do a taste test and let you see what they look like. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, the chocolate almond bites have been in the freezer for about an hour. Generally, I let them freeze longer than that, but just for the sake of this video, it's just gonna be an hour. So they're gonna be the consistency of a brownie. But if you would like them to be much harder, leave them in the freezer. If you want them to be softer at all times, you can once you freeze them the first initial time, then you can leave them in the refrigerator and they'll be much softer when you eat them. I like them a little harder, so I leave them in the refrigerator, in the freezer probably overnight. Then I take them out and put them in a the refrigerator and leave them there because I like them at a little bit out, <laughs> excuse me, a little bit of a harder consistency. So this is my first little ball. And we'll show you what it looks like here. And Mm. let you guys see what they look like they are so good you taste them the peanut butter in them as well as the chocolate so it, it tastes more like a peanut butter brownie or really it kind of gives you the taste of a Reese's cup and they're about 200 calories each I'll leave that information up here so that you can see that from where I plugged it into my fitness pal but yeah that is it thank you guys I hope that you liked the video please thumbs up the video if you like these recipe videos I try to make them I'm gonna try to keep doing recipe videos every week and then as well as my keto or weight journey or other types of videos is well thrown in throughout the week I can't say that I can make two videos a week but I'm going to try I'm going to at least make one video a week, but I'm about to start school next month. So, I don't know if that'll be possible. So, anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed the video. As always, thumbs up, like, comment, and share. And if you leave a comment below, make sure you check the description box first. I'll list all of the ingredients there, as always. And, yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. And I hope to see you in my very next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>